So wait for it. The only show on television where being quick to answer doesn't necessarily make you a winner. In fact, here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule, the longer you take to answer a question, the more points you get. We'll be testing the nerve of our contestants and see if they've got the skill to avoid the goo portal. That is disgusting. Now, each of our questions is 15 seconds long and we have all of our clues locked in the Total Intelligence Mechanism, or as we affectionately like to call him, Tim. We're ready to play. Are you ready, Tim? What are you wearing? You know what? I'm sick of your sarcasm, Tim. What does this button do? My brain hurts. Cool. Now, because seconds add up to points here on Wait For It, those that fail to wait will end up in the sticky goo. Let's find out who's playing today. Today's team are from Leeds, and our first player is Georgie. Hi, Georgie. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you. How are you? Very good. You're nice and bright and breezy and enthusiastic. I like that. Now, Georgie, you're into your drama. Are you a bit of an actress? Yeah. And you, you can sing as well. Well, we did this thing off at school and I came first. So. What was your song? Uh, Skater Boy by Avril Lavigne. Can you give us a blast of it? He was a boy, she was a girl. Can I make it any more obvious? He was a punk, she did ballet. One more can I say? What well, audience, what do we think about that? <laughs> wow, sir. It's brilliant. Today, wait for it. Who are you most worried about? Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, why do you think that? Um, because she's and the twins, both the twins, because they're very competitive. Right. And They've got the knowledge, Sarah. So. OK, so Sarah's the one. All right, well, let's get on and meet the first twin. Contestant number two is Rebecca. Hiya, Rebecca. Hi. I thought it was C and double, but you are twins, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, you look very much alike. Uh, the only difference, obviously, is the headband. That's, <laughs> that's how I can tell you apart. I mean, um, are you very alike or are you quite different? Yeah, we like the same stuff and we usually play with each other. Oh, cool. That's great. Do you think your sister's going to be tough to beat? Um. Well, I think I can beat her, but of course. it could be quite hard. <laughs> oh, really? Is she good at school? Um, she's all right. <laughs> Who's the best out of you and her? Me. Of course. All right. Well, let's get Sarah's side of the story. Nice to meet you, Rebecca. Number three is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Rebecca <laughs> says that she's going to beat you. What do you think about that? Well, um, I think I'm going to beat her, and um, I think she'll get put in the gunch. You're the older of the, of the two of you, aren't you? Yeah, older and wiser. Older and wiser. OK, well, that remains to be seen. Uh, are you excited about playing Wait For It today? Yeah. What do you think of the Goo Portal? Um, it looks disgusting, but fun. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Let's meet our final contestants. It's Rachel. Hiya, Rachel. Hi. Now, people are saying that Sarah is the person to beat. What do you think about that? I'm going to win. Ooh, this fourth contestant is confident. She may be older than me, but... You've got the brains, right? Yeah. Well, you're a bit of a dancer, aren't you? Yeah. Can yeah. you give us a little bit? If... Oh, my goodness. That's... Wow, that's great. Round of applause, audience. <laughs> Hold them. I like that one. That was the one I like, the little... Oh, yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving. I got it. Huh? That's so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Oh, Rachel, it's lovely to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Nice Best of luck, you. everyone. OK, this is round number one. It's wait for it. Every question's got a series of clues lasting 15 seconds. The questions start at the same time the clock begins, counting from zero to 15. Now, you can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So, for an example, if you buzzed in at seven seconds, if you got the question right, you'd get seven points. If you get it wrong, everyone else gets seven points. Now, there are ten questions in this round, and you each have three lives, so make sure you use them wisely. Remember, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. OK, this is round number one. Let's hear the first question, Tim. I'm a character from a fairy tale, a film and a ballet. When I was born, some fairies gave me gifts, but a wicked fairy cast a spell on me that meant upon pricking my finger, I would sleep for a hundred years until woken by a prince's kiss. Ooh, 
Georgie. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Excellent waiting. Got yourself 13 points there. OK, let's have the second question, Tim. I usually come in pairs. I can be used as a form of transport or, more commonly, just for sport or even fun. A type of hockey can be played wearing me and I can be used for races. I'm... <coughs> Georgie again. Ice skates. Ice skates. It's the wrong answer. Everyone else gets 11 points. The answer we were looking for was roller skates. Roller skates. Not to worry. It's only uh, question three. Next. Let's have it, Tim, please. I'm a very popular food. You can grill, roast or fry me. I'm the main ingredient of Toad in the Hole. I'm usually made of meat, although there are also vegetarian versions of me. I'm often eaten with eggs and bacon for breakfast, or with mashed potatoes. Mm. Georgie. Sausages. Sausages is the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Georgie got herself 13 points there, but she's used up all of her lives. So, question four. Let's have it, Tim. I'm an animal you can see on a farm. In New Zealand, there are 11 of me to every one person. My milk is made into cheese, but I'm best known for my wool. CBBC characters Sean and Timmy are both examples of it. Rebecca. Cow. Cow. It's the wrong answer. Everyone else gets 12 points. The answer we were looking for was sheep. OK, this is question five, so we're halfway through the round. Let's have it, Tim. I'm one of the best-known Mr Men. My catchphrase is poopity poop. My favourite food is liver-versed sandwiches and my sister is Little Miss Whoops. I'm round and blue and I'm always seen wearing bandages because wherever I go, I just can't stop having accidents. Oh, out of time there. What did you think it was, Georgie? Mr Bump. It was Mr Bump. That was the right answer, but unfortunately, <laughs> you're frozen out of the game. Nobody gets any points. All right, this is question six. I'm a country. If you wanted to say hello here, you would say konnichiwa. I'm ruled by an emperor. I'm nicknamed Land of the Rising Sun. And my... <coughs> Rachel. Is it Tokyo? Tokyo. No. It's the wrong answer. It's the country we were looking for. The answer we wanted was Japan. That means everybody else gets ten points. OK. This is question number seven. Let's have it, Tim. I'm a famous wooden object from a story of ancient times. I was a gift left by some clever Greeks outside an enemy city they could not fight their way into. I was shaped like a giant animal and soldiers hid in my belly so that they could get into the city. Out of time there, just out of time. Nobody's getting any points. The answer we were looking for was the Trojan horse. Question eight, please, Tim. I'm something valuable and I can be difficult to find. You might need a special map to search for me. I'll probably be marked with a cross. Sometimes I'll be hidden underground. Rachel. Treasure box or something. Treasure is the right answer. That's absolutely right. Well done. All right, you've got yourself nine points. Well played. Question number nine, please, Tim. I'm a book and film. My main characters are a particular breed of dog, which is white with black spots. In the film... Sarah. 101 Dalmatians. 101 Dalmatians is correct. Well played, Sarah. Good work. Get yourself eight points. All right. This is the last question in this round. Question ten. Let's have the question, Tim, please. I'm a popular children's game. While one person counts, the other players have to look for places where they don't think they'll be found. The person who is... Sarah. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Ooh. It's the right answer. Well played. You got ten points. All right, that is the end of round number one. Players, it's time to leave your pods and please enter the drop zone. OK. Tim's been keeping score. The first person safe and definitely going through to round number two is... Sarah! Well played, Sarah. OK. The second person safe is... Georgie! Well played, Georgie. The person...
person we have to say goodbye to, about to enter the goo portal, is... Rebecca! So to see you go, Rebecca. We're by the way, guys. Bye, Rebecca. Bye, Bye Rebecca! Rebecca. Give us a wave, Rebecca! Yeah! See you soon! <laughs> Rachel, what was it like on the drop zone there? When it said Rebecca, I was actually really happy that I didn't go in the gunge, cos the gunge just looks really <laughs> nasty and just disgusting. <laughs> All right, well, well done. Well done for making it to round number two. This one's called Watch and Wait. It's different to round number one, but we have the same scoring system. Wherever you stop the clock, that's the number of points you'll get if you get the question right. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you need. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you bag yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we'll play the rest of the clue and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. OK, there are six questions in this round, and remember, once again, you've got three lives, and it's important to wait as long as possible for maximum points. So, let's wait for it. All right, the first category is nature. Remember, we'll hear the clock first, so, Tim, start it, please. Keep an eye on each other. Remember, we want to pick up most points. I'll get beaten to the buzzer. Ooh, Sarah in first there. Stop the clock at 12 seconds. You'll hear 12 seconds of clues, then I'll ask you for your answer, Sarah. Let's have the clues, Tim. I'm a reptile. I move very slowly and carry my house on my back in the form of a shell. I eat lettuce and can live for a very long time. In a famous story, I beat a hare in a race. What's the answer, Sarah? Tortoise. You got it right. Well done. That was great. OK, you got yourself 12 points. Good stuff. The next category is fashion. Let's start the clock, Tim. Good eye on each other. <coughs> oh! Georgie, Georgie, stop the clock at 10 seconds. Just beat you there, Rachel. OK, Georgie, you're going to hear 10 seconds of clues. Listen closely. I'm something that you wear on your feet. I'm mostly worn in hot weather, especially when you're at the beach. I come in all sorts of colours and can even be decorated with flowers and plastic beads. Georgie, do you know the answer? Is it sandals? It's the wrong answer, Georgie. OK, we're going to give your opponents a chance to swipe some points now. We're going to play the rest of the clues. I usually have a bit that goes between your toes, and I make a noise. Sarah. Flip-flops. Flip-flops is the right answer. Well played, Sarah. <laughs> well done. You got yourself 13 points. OK. The next category is sport. Let's start the clock, Tim. Sarah, stop the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a sporting competition. I was first won in 1930 by Uruguay. Teams from all over the planet compete to qualify for my finals, which are held... Do you know the answer, Sarah? World Cup. The World Cup. It's right. Well done. <laughs> eight points. Sarah... You just used up your last life, so you're out of lives now. That means you're out of the rest of the round. OK. We're going into question four now, and the category is films. Start the clock, Tim. Rachel and Georgie, keep an eye on another. Ooh, Rachel, just in first. She stopped the clock at eight seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a series of sci-fi films. I'm a story of good against evil. The good person is Luke Skywalker, and the evil is Darth Vader. Of is that enough for you, Rachel? Do you know the answer? Oh. Is it Star Wars? Star Wars. Star Wars. No. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Eight seconds. Question five. The category is general knowledge. Start the clock. Ooh, 
Georgie just in first there. Uh, you're going to hear seven seconds of clues on general knowledge. Let's have them, Tim. I'm an award. You might receive one of me if you do well at your school sports day. At the Olympics, winners get a gold one. OK, Georgie, what's your answer? Medal. Medal. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> Georgie gets seven points. Good stuff. OK, the category is people. Let's start the clock, Tim. Ooh, ooh, so close that time. Rachel, you just beat Georgie to the buzzers at six seconds. Let's hear those clues, Tim. I'm a sporting hero. I'm one of the most successful players of all time. My real name is Eldrick, but I'm known by an... That is a toughie. Rachel, can you get it from that? Throw a name at me. No. No? Georgie, that means you get the rest of the clue. You need to buzz in before 15 seconds. Let's restart the clues, Tim. Animal nickname. The game I play involves a lot of walking around on grass and swinging clubs to hit us. <coughs> Georgie. Um, is it person's name? A person's name, yep. Gonna have to hurry you, Georgie. I don't know. No one gets any points there. It was a golfer's name. The answer we were looking for was Tiger Woods. It was Tiger Woods. All right, not to worry. That's the end of round number two. Who's got the most points? Who waited the longest? It's time for our players to leave their pods and enter the drop zone. All right. I can reveal that the first person who is safe going through to round number three is... Sarah! Well played, Sarah. Stay where you are. OK, Georgie, Rachel, it's down to you guys. The person leaving us and entering the goo portal is... Georgie! See you later, Georgie. Wave bye to everyone. See you soon. There goes Georgie. Give us a wave, Georgie. Oh. <laughs> Rachel, tell me how you were feeling out there on the end. It was okay. It was really good, actually. It's not that bad, you see. No. All right. Well, this is round number three. It's our head-to-head -head round. We call it Wait and See. I'm going to give you a question category, and you have to decide when they're going to buzz in with the answer. Now, you've got three possible time slots. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Of course, the person answering will have no idea what your prediction is. The points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. So, if your prediction is correct and they answer correctly within your time slot, you get a point. If they answer correctly outside of that time slot, they get the point. So, you both know the rules. You've seen the possible time slots. It's time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. So, Sarah, you waited the longest in the first two rounds, so you can choose, do you want to predict first or answer first? Can I answer first, please? Of course you can. So, Rachel, that means you're predicting. The category is general knowledge. Rachel, before you press a button, let's just have a little chat with Sarah. So it's a general knowledge question, Sarah. How's your general knowledge? Um, it's not the best, but I think I can do all right. You think so? Yeah. You're good at a lot of different subjects at school? Yeah. OK. You've heard what she's got to say, Rachel. Is she bluffing? Is she telling the truth? Is she good on general knowledge? You, you're not sure? I think she's bluffing. I think she's bluffing. OK, Rachel, press the button. Super. OK, we can all see that Sarah can't. OK, Sarah, it's general knowledge. Buzz in when you want. Here come the clues. I can be found at the top of the rainbow. I'm a primary colour that comes in shades like crimson and scarlet. I'm the colour of anger and danger, 
and balls are supposed to turn very nasty at the sight of me. I'm the cup. Sarah, you came in at 13 seconds. What's the answer? Red. Red is correct. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, Rachel said you'd come in between 6 and 10. You're in at 13, which means you get the point. Well played. <laughs> Sarah, it's your turn to predict. The category is the natural world. Let's talk to Rachel. How are you on the natural world, Rachel? Bad. <laughs> you don't know much about nature at all? Not that much, just a little bit. Sarah, you've heard what she's got to say. She could be bluffing. What do you think? I'm not too sure. Um, she's hiding it very well, if she is. She is, yeah. All right. Well, you've got to see through that and make your prediction. OK, there it is. Rachel, here come your clues. I'm a bird with a distinctive song. It's my song that gives me my name, which sounds like the same word twice. I sometimes lay my eggs in other birds' nests. Some Swiss clocks feature a small carving of me, which pops out to signal each hour. I begin with a letter C. Oh, out of time there, which means nobody gets a point. The answer we were looking for, Rachel, was cuckoo. All right, on to question number three. The category is sports and games. Rachel, it's your turn to predict. Sarah, do you play a lot of sports? Um, not much. No? No. Play a lot of games? <laughs> Not much. Oh, you're going to be hopeless at this, then. Yeah. Oh, my God. OK, she's not giving much away there, Rachel. She, like, plays football, like, nearly every day, so... I think she was bluffing. Definitely. All right. <laughs> Rachel, it's your turn to make a prediction. You go for it. Pressed. OK. Sarah, here come your clues. I'm an object used in many sports. Usually, there are two of me, each team having one of their own. I'm also a word that is used outside of sport when you talk of something you aim at. If you were playing football in the park, you might use your... 14 seconds, what's the answer? A goal. Goal is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Rachel thought you'd come in between 6 and 10. You came in at 14 with the right answer. You get a point, Sarah. Well played. So that's two points to Sarah. Rachel, you've got to get this next point to stay in the round. The category is space. Something I know a lot about. Just give me a second, Sarah. Rachel, space. Do you know much about planets? A little bit, but not a lot. All right, OK. Well, she's, <laughs> she, she says she doesn't know too much, Sarah. Is she bluffing, though? It's time for you to make your prediction. Press the button when you're ready. OK. There's Sarah's prediction. Rachel, here come your clues. Remember this one to stay in the round. Let's have them, Tim. Even though I'm very big, I look very small, and you can only see me at night. The light from me takes many millions of years to reach Earth. People have named patterns they see when they join a few of me together, like the Plough and Orion. In at 13 seconds, what's the answer, Rachel? Moon. 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 It's the wrong answer. Let's see the prediction. Sarah, you said that Rachel would buzz in between 11 and 15 seconds. She did that, but she gave me an incorrect answer. You need to give me the right answer to secure that point. The stars. Stars. It's the right answer. Well done, Sarah. <laughs> that means Sarah takes the round. Rachel, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to you. So if you could leave your play pod and please enter the drop zone. Give us a big smile there, Rachel. Yeah, great. You've been absolutely superb. It's been a pleasure having you. But we have to say goodbye. Wave goodbye to us, Sarah. This is your last challenge. It's a chance to win an absolutely fantastic prize, OK? You're going to hear a series of questions. They're each 10 seconds long. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. 
All right, I'll do it now. This is what you got to do. So from one to the other, like this. Keep your balance, keep your cool. And then make it to the other side. Oh, thank you. Now, your time is going to start when I hear the answer to your first question. Best of luck. Tim, let's start the questions. I am a fruit. I'm yellow in colour and curved in shape. And you need to peel Banana. me to eat. That's right, move forward. I'm an actress and a singer like my dad. I have my own TV show where I'm an ordinary schoolgirl who has a secret oh, life as a Hannah pop Montana. star. No. Next question. I'm a sweet food. If you boil soft fruits like strawberries or blackcurrants with water and sugar, when it cools, you're left with me. Pass. I'm an item. Next question. I was a soldier in olden times. I rode on a horse and wore shining armour. You should call me sir. I sound the same as a time of day that's very Pass. dark. Next question. I am a pastime. I'm something you can do on your own. You only need two needles Pass. and some wool. Next question. I'm a long-running BBC TV show for children that your mum and dad probably watched when they were young. Pass. Next question. I'm an area of green space where city people can walk, ride a bike or play games. Pass. Next one. I am a weed that you might find on the lawn or in fields. Pass. I have a bright yellow... I'm a fast form of transport. I have a two-word name, both beginning with the letter J. Airplane. The first part of my name is... I'm a oh, there's the klaxon. We know what that means. Help me, audience. Three, two, one. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, you're not going to go away empty-handed. You'll be taking one of our intergalactic space bouncers. So, well done. Give it up for Sarah. What another cracking game! Join us next time on Wait For It! Pete was crazy and funny and he's got mad hair. Pete, I think you should shave all your hair off. Pete was funny, but he wasn't the best answer. Wait for it! Well, that was definitely worth waiting for. And this is worth waiting for, too. Two nuns are checking into Hotel Trouble, and loads of weird things are starting to happen. When the pressure's on and the clock is ticking, you know you're in the zone. <laughs> CBBC's number one game shows are in the game show zone. Weekdays at 5 past 4, CBBC on BBC One. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> CBBC. Welcome to Hotel...